Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Rampant, a Korean horror action film from 2018. Now if you've been paying attention to recent Korean releases on Netflix, you may have noticed a television series by the name of Kingdom that featured zombies in ancient Korea. I have a review of that series on my channel, and guess what? We now have a movie that features zombies in ancient Korea. This is good times that we live in, people. Remember Dark Forest back in 2006? That movie had zombies in it. That was a pile of crap. <laughs> so, <laughs> Korea has come a long way in the, with their zombie films from recent years. So Rampant, it's set hundreds of years in the, in the past, of course. The first scene shows a man on a foreign merchant ship who is bitten by a zombie. He returns to shore and begins to suffer from the effects, which leads him to murder his own family and begin the outbreak. Meanwhile, a prince, played by Hyun Bin, returns to the kingdom after the suicide of his brother, who was having disagreements with the king, or had disagreements with the king. Needless to say, some political strife exists within the palace, and even worse, the head of the military is planning to take the throne for himself. So Hyun Bin enlists the help of some assassins to survive the zombie attacks, but they could really use some military assistance from the royal palace. The question is whether or not they're going to get it. So it's hard to avoid talking about Kingdom when I talk about Rampant, uh, just due to the fact that they're movies about zombies in ancient Korea that came out, well, a television series and a movie about zombies in ancient Korea that came out so close from one another. So there will be a few references and comparisons here. I, I really enjoyed Kingdom, but one of my criticisms was that the characters themselves were not particularly memorable. That problem does still exist in Rampant to an extent because there's not a lot of emotional resonance in the character development here. But the human conflict, I think, is better here than in Kingdom. You know, I really wanted to see the head of the military get taken down. He's played by Donggong John, who you'll recognize when you see him. He turns out to be a solid and fun villain to watch here. He's lacking in depth of character, but the strategies he uses are deliciously ruthless. I could, I could put it that way. There's a scene where he and the prince actually kind of get up in each other's faces at the, in, near the midpoint of the film, and it effectively increases the animosity between the two, and the conflict rises from there, so I like that. Uh, I also like how things come together during the finale, because the zombie threat is nicely combined with the human threat, and the tactics of this villain character are one reason why. I'll just leave it at that. In regard to the horror action sequences themselves... We get a good zombie attack within the opening half hour, I would say. You know, there's little zombie attacks throughout the film, but the first, like, lengthy good one is about a half hour in. And then there's a bunch of zombie attacks that are backloaded into the second half of the film. There are attacks like in open spaces, as well as attacks within buildings, with tons of zombies crashing in from all, all angles, every direction. So it's fun watching the protagonists, you know, fend these zombies off with, you know, blades and arrows and stuff like that. The fighting does have some variety as well, especially near the end, uh, when Hyun Bin breaks out some cool maneuvers. The finale is lengthy and, and very satisfying, I think. Production values are solid. There's a nighttime dance performance that's you know rather short, but uh, I thought was pretty neat. It's kind of an added bonus. So uh, this film does look good, I'll, I'll give it that much. Pacing, a bit on the slow side during the opening half. Um, you know, but it does a good job of kind of setting things up for the mayhem that follows. And unlike the first six episodes of Kingdom, uh, Rampant is a self-contained story that does resolve the main conflicts by the end. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Kingdom will do that as more seasons come out. But, you know, if you were left hanging on episode six of Kingdom, I, I feel you. You know, check out uh, Rampant because you won't have that problem. But I think Rampant is a fun zombie romp. You know, it's not like it's... Uh, it's a great uh, script or character uh, uh, piece or anything like that. And even, even some of the zombie qualities are a little, a little inconsistent at times. Uh, but I liked it. It was fun. It's currently available on Amazon Streaming in the United States. I think it gets a physical release soon. And as always, we'll see you next time.